Welcome back to another video, guys. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be counting down our top five Universal Studios Orlando rides in Eddie's top five. But before we get into that, on this channel, we cover horror, theme parks, travel, and much more. So if that's your thing, browse my channel, like this video if you enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. So in traditional top five fashion, we're gonna start with number five and work our way up to number one. Now I hope you're ready, cause it's time to get into it. Starting us off with number five, the fate of the world is in your hands with this family friendly, men in black, alien attack. Located at the back of the park in the World Expo area, you begin your training to join the MIB. Universal Studios makes you the star of your favorite movies, like in the spectacular new Men in Black Alien Attack Ride. Only you determine the outcome as you join the Men in Black and save the Earth from aliens. This game style ride starts off with simple training, but soon you're tasked with blasting real alien scum as they take over the streets of New York. A fun ride for all and a nice escape from the heat in Florida, as this has the best AC in the park. Partner that up with the potential of a perfect score, if you're skilled enough that is, and you have a solid entry at number five. In this one, you'll find yourself against a whole different alien life form as you are recruited by the Autobots to join the Freedom Fighters to save Earth once again. Located in the waterfront area of Production Central, you have Transformers The Ride 3D. Humans, you are in grave danger. I am Optimus Prime. I must warn you that at this very moment, the Decepticons are mobilizing to take over Orlando. Similar to Spider-Man over at IOA, this dark ride incorporates seamless scene to screen adventures as you battle Megatron and the Decepticons to save the AllSpark. Side by side with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, the fate of the universe is in your hands. Our number three is for the thrill seeker searching for a no frills experience. Bringing us back to Production Central, you'll find yourself at the only outdoor roller coaster at Universal Studios in Hollywood's Rip Ride Rocket. You'll waste no time as the ride starts with a 90 degree climb to the sky before your first big drop. Reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour, you will tear through track in this adrenaline pumping, music thumping thrill ride. A minor frill, but cool addition to this ride is that you get to choose the music you play through your personal headrest for the duration of the ride. My personal favorite is Kanye West, Stronger. Top this off with one of the cooler ride souvenirs as you could take home a music video style ride along of your experience. In our number two spot, the legend is real, and you'll soon find out as you come face to face with Emotep in Revenge of the Mummy. Located in the New York area of the park, this ride joined the action in 2004 and continues to throw fans today. Many of the Egyptian hieroglyphs on the wall spell out real warnings. Tempting you with endless riches in exchange for your soul, you will thrash back and forth as you try to escape the evil mummy. Escaping by the skin of your teeth, swarms of insects, warrior mummies, and fire so intense, you'll definitely feel the heat in this thrill seeker's dream. Breaking in is impossible and breaking out is a little harder. Through the most immersive land that you could find at Universal, that's right, Diagon Alley, you will find our number one, Escape from Green Gods. A lot could be said about this ride, but if you experience it, it truly speaks for itself. 
The queue takes you through the bank where you can watch the goblins hard at work, down to the cavernous passageways to where you board your ride vehicle. This ride is a combination of roller coaster and dark ride, where they merge scene and thrills seamlessly, which is why it sits firmly at our number one spot. Now that is it for this episode of Eddie's Top 5. Down in the comments, let us know what you think. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed the content. Also, subscribe to the channel to show your support and follow me at my social medias like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I will see you guys on the next video. But as always, guys, don't forget to ask yourself, have you been Eddie Tang?